at first, um, gosh, she would have outbursts at least three or four times a day when he first came. He, he was admitted um, to the crisis stabilization unit at first and then transferred to the children's unit about a month after being here. But at first, he um, had so much difficulty following direction that there would be an, an outburst where he would be aggressive towards staff or towards one of the other children at, at least three times a day. So we've seen a lot of change in that area um, where now, you know, maybe he's aggressive once a day and it's, and it's less severe too. At, at one point, um, his, his aggression got a little bit more severe um, after being at the children's unit for a few months and we think that that was related to more psychotic issues coming out um, where he would, um, a kid would maybe be laying, laying on the floor watching TV and he would just sort of out of the blue kick them on, in their head and up, up and down their back and you know you couldn't see what that was related to whereas now you can sort of see if, if he pushes someone in line it's because they've done something beforehand so we think that um, that the severe aggression was maybe he was seeing something, maybe he was seeing the kid's face change because he described seeing staff's faces change into monsters, described seeing monsters in his room that he thinks are going to come and get him. So he does hallucinate um, quite a bit and I think some of his severe aggression is really related to that. Um, but we've, in the past month or so, um, seen a big decrease in the amount of aggression and uncontrolled aggression where you can't figure out what what's triggered it whereas now we, we can see more what what is triggering the anger um, or the aggression so that's that's some progress um, and he's also been able to um, talk about his hallucinations more talk about when he's feeling afraid more or talk with staff about it which is definite progress too to kind of ask for help in those situations but there are some big balls that the kids can use as a coping skill, kind of lay on the ball and relax or maybe bounce one of the balls. And that was his, his idea in his head was, I need to get out of here, I need a coping skill, I'm going to run to the balls. But he didn't really communicate that, so the teacher wasn't really sure why he was running out of the classroom. Um, and she had given him, I think, a, a chair time or some, some time to, um, I think about five minutes of chair time. And when he ran down the hallway, she thought that he was just um, avoiding the chair time. But he, in his mind, he needed, he needed to use the balls before he could do his chair time. So we talked some about you know, giving him that option of using, using the balls first. And, and, if, and if he does go out of the classroom and want to use the balls as a coping skill, kind of saying, well, OK, do you want to use the balls first and then do your chair time? Because sometimes he really needs that time to regroup before he can do the chair time. I mean, he really needs, you know, some sort of release before he can do that.